Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much any kind of tech. Now if you watched my last video, I did give you a hint of what the next video was going to be on and uh, it was going to be on this which is the the Acaso V50. Now the Acaso V50 is another budget minded GoPro copy or clone. Uh, the reason I went with this one is because of all the features that this one comes for, for just a little under $100. Like my last video that uh, I did on the Dragon Touch 4K, that one was for like $45, about $45. It was very limited in features. This one is going to be cup runneth over, <laughs> so to speak, in features. So don't go away. When we come back, we're going to go over the Acaso V50. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. My wife actually picked me up a camera uh, the other, last week as a matter of fact, she ordered me another camera, and she did it just because I was talking about uh, doing another YouTube video review on a cheap, budget-minded action camera. And I was looking at quite a few of them. I had one picked out. I had it saved in my uh, Amazon save account. And she saw it in there, and she just went ahead and picked it up for me. So thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, honey. You have no idea how much I do appreciate this. This really helps the channel. So I'm just going to go over some features real quick. Uh, this is the Acaso V50 Pro native 4K, 30 frames per second. It has a 20 megapixel sensor in it. Wi-Fi action camera with EIS, which if you aren't familiar with EIS, basically EIS is its image stabilization. Not unlike what the GoPro has now. I can't say that it's going to be as good as my GoPro Hero 7 Black, but we're going to find that out. Now, this is going to be just an unboxing today. I will try to give you some small video samples of it uh, just to let you see what it looks like when it records, and then I will do another video showing you image quality in certain, in different scenarios. So. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead and read off some of the specs from my PC. That way you know what to expect from this camera. Again, this is the Acaso V50 Pro native 4K 30 frames per second. Uh, it does have a 20 megapixel uh, sensor in it. It is a Wi-Fi action camera with uh, EIS. And it has, uh, it has a touchscreen, which is awesome. And a 100 foot waterproof camera that is, of course, in its waterproof case. And it does come with a lot of accessories, which we're going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy so you guys can see exactly what you're getting when you do buy one of these Acaso V50s. I was going to go over some of the specs on it, but I mean, that's basically it. So what do you say we go ahead and jump into ripping this baby open and seeing what's in it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and jump right into opening this thing up. Now, it basically comes in a box kind of like a GoPro comes in. Again, I purchased this from Amazon for just a hair under $100. I think it was like $99, something like that. Uh, take off the cellophane. If I'm not mistaken, though, just like my Dragon Touch, they are going to include some extra features. Okay, uh, so far, so far, so good. It looks pretty nice. Uh, again, it comes in that really nice... to the side and there it is I'll put it right here for the GoPro to take a look at it the boxing looks very much like GoPro even though it's not now let's see if it opens up like a, like 
the GoPro does. No. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the frame that they have it in to hold it. Oh, they have a little block in the end of it. Okay. Okay. It's like a little lock they have in it, which is pretty cool. I mean, it, it's nice that they have features. Uh, there is, there it is, and it is in a waterproof case right now. This is its waterproof case, which it is water water resistant. I, I shouldn't say waterproof. Um, very, very water resistant up to about 100 feet. So we're going to set that off to the side. And let's see what is it. Now, I like it that they include this because if you notice, I could put this on the dash of my truck or whatever. And this would make a nice mount. Or I could leave it in the box. Use the mount and use it to record like if i'm vlogging at the kitchen table whatever this could be a stand to put the camera on i like i do like that feature so we're going to go ahead and find the opening which is in the bottom one thing i like about these non gopro action cameras is they give you a lot of stuff more more clips oh yes that's your bicycle handlebar clip there of course is the battery charger another type of clip that is a oh these are velcro straps speaking of my dragon touch I have it here for size comparisons. This has been an old standby and I love this camera. And I may be giving this away now that I have this Dragon Touch. So be looking for that video because this is still a great camera. Okay, we have more stuff. Adhesives and zip ties. And of course this is the body that you can use just like the GoPro comes with. That if you just want to stick it in a thing without its uh, case, its waterproof case, this is what you would put that in. And again, I mean, it, it's just loaded with stuff. Uh, that's a charging cable. A, an adhesive sticker for sticking it on whatever. There's the battery. One battery. Another one of those clamps. This is an extra screen for the um, for the waterproof housing, just in case you scratch it. Of course, instructions. Gonna keep them off to the side. Well, they got a lot of stuff in here. The controller, and this time I'm going to try to set the controller up. It comes with a little wrist thing, like a watch that you can wear and, and control the record functions and stuff on it. So we're going to try that later in another video. Oops, another adhesive stick, uh, another adhesive pad. Oh my god, the silica gel packs. Uh, uh. My public service announcement to everybody out there, do not, I repeat, do not eat the silica gel packs. You will not make it. You've been warned. And uh, this looks like a little wrench and oh, I know what this is. This is a wrench that you put on here to loosen this, and which is nice because they really tightened it down. I couldn't get it. But with this, with this, you can actually put it on there like that and loosen it. Wow, they had that thing so tight. I think I might have broke it. There, nope, I loosened it, I think. Yep, I loosened it. Yep, nice and loose. Good. That's nice. They give us they, they have a wrench in it. And uh, second battery is right here. Put that there. And last but not least, a like an attachment to an attachment. So I mean GoPro. Take a hint from Acaso and all these other uh, fly by night look alike GoPros and Give us some stuff. If we're going to spend 350 to 
uh, $400 on an action camera. I only spent $100 on this, and just the accessories alone was worth all of that. So, come on, GoPro. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Akaso get, gets big points from me for that. So, I'm going to set this off to the side. Um, again, uh, quickly, I'm just going to go over some features. Uh, it is waterproof to uh, to 98 feet with, of course, its waterproof housing. It has uh, it has a touchscreen, uh, image stabilization, and of course, the specifications are uh, integrated wireless network, which is of course Wi-Fi, adjustable view angled lens. Again, I like just like the GoPro, you can adjust this to a uh, super wide, wide, narrow, you know, which is great. I like that. And um, it has a, a remote control. Um, it has a two-inch, a two-inch touch screen or touch display. It is a micro SD storage uh, for the recording, so make sure you have a micro SD. And I, I hope I do. I think I do. And uh, mounts and accessories included. Awesome. Uh, they, they also have the uh, input output mini USB cable that comes with it definition is native 4k video is 4k 30 frames per second 2.7k 30 frames per second and 1080p 60 frames per second which uh, it would be great if it was like 120 frames per second but even with 60 frames per second that does allow me to uh, do some slow motion uh, video with that and photos are 20 megapixels 16 megapixels, 14 megapixels, 10 megapixels, and 8 megapixel. Does come with two batteries, and uh, it's waterproof up to 98 feet. Uh, wireless connection, yes, it does have wireless connection, and uh, it does have multi-language support. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the sticker on the back, covering up the screen, the screen protector. And it's got a little screen protector on the front as well. Peel that off. Let me use my hand that I can actually feel my fingers on. Nice. All right. Now, my guess is that my batteries are not going to be charged up. So I'm probably going to have to go ahead and plug them in before I can give it a shot. But just looking around it, um, this is the power button. I'm guessing that is going to be the record button. We'll soon find out. And uh, these are your speakers. So again, it's not waterproof. They have a, they have a speaker here or a microphone, and either a speaker or microphone here, speaker or microphone here. Um, this is where the SD card goes, and you have your mini USB. Uh, this is your mini or micro USB connection. No, and this of course is the charging connection. HDMI. That should slide out. And they have it like a GoPro, I think. Yes. That slides out. And this is where your battery goes. And we'll just see if the batteries have any juice at all. Powered on. Oh. Awesome. And wow, it's got three quarters of battery. I'm going to go ahead and put a memory card in here. We're going to go ahead and see what it looks like. Let's go record. We are doing a vlogging test. Again, we are shooting 4K, uh, 30 frames per second, and I do have image stabilization turned on. Now, whether or not that image stabilization works, you know, we'll have to see. I may have to go to 1080p. Uh, from what I could see in low light, it wasn't working that well. Uh, from the videos that I did last night, uh, it did look like it was jittering quite a bit. So I didn't see a lot of image stabilization uh, working. But again, this is the Acaso V50. I am shooting in 4K, 30 frames per second. And this is what the video looks like with it. Oh, and I do have narrow field of view which is another awesome thing about this camera. I love that you can do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and switch to 1080p and see if that makes a difference in the image stabilization. So, 
Okay, so I am now recording on my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, it's the same day. Weather conditions are the same. Wind conditions are the same. I am not recording with an external microphone. I am using the inbuilt microphone. So all things are equal. Let's go ahead and go to 1080p, 60 frames per second now. Okay, I now have the Acaso V50 shooting in 1080p, 60 frames per second. And we're going to see if the image stabilization is any better on that. So anyways, this is the video quality, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, and I'm not using any special modes. And in this camera, you can get in there and change your ISO. You can do a lot of things with this. I am very excited about this camera. The only thing I wish it had, which I thought it did, was a microphone jack. And it does have microphones on the top. It has one up here, one here, and one on the bottom. Yeah, I don't see any on the back, but it has three microphones. Now, my Dragon Touch only had one microphone. The audio on that thing sucked. So, again, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, I think I'm going to switch this to 2.7K and see what it looks like there. Okay, now this is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, and I am shooting in the linear mode, which is the cropped in mode and uh, Of course image stabilization is on uh, this is the GoPro Hero 7 black. Uh, so you guys are going to get an idea of what the uh, Stabilization is like which is from what I remember <laughs> buttery smooth uh, That's one of the reasons that I actually went out and purchased this uh, this uh, action camera and Without microphones it actually the audio actually sounds good, too So here's a comparison for you uh, 1080p 60 frames per second with image stabilization on uh, the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black and that's it uh, I now have this set to 2.7k 30 frames per second my eyes are watering because of it's cold and windy uh, so I want to see if image stabilization is working in 2.7k 30 frames per second here it is 2.7k 30 frames per second um, uh, it's a little windy so you're gonna hear that uh, because I can't use an external microphone uh, but this is what the audio sounds like audio one two three audio one two three okay we are shooting uh, 2.7 K 30 frames per second uh, it says the image stabilization is on which I know that the GoPro uh, Hero 7 black uh, image stabilization in 2.7k I know for a fact works and works well so so again this is the image quality on the GoPro Hero 7 black uh, 2.7k 30 frames per second okay I wanted to test this for night recording I am shooting 4k 30 frames per second I do have the image stabilization on and is I'm shooting 4k 30 and it's giving me that narrow field of view and I'm walking and remember everybody uh, I have quite a wobble when I walk so uh, this is going to be a very good test for the image stabilization and of course we're shooting in very low light there's actually no Sun out it is 3 a.m. so you could use this for going out and shooting stuff at night if you had uh you're gonna have to have light bright enough to illuminate what you're shooting at at night okay well there you have it uh that is the acaso v50 i pretty much gave you guys some representation of how well this camera does uh, we did it outside in good weather and i showed you uh, nighttime as well. Sorry the video went as long as it did, but I wanted you to see it against the GoPro Hero 7, which I feel, at least right now, is the best action camera on the planet. Yes, I know the GoPro Hero 8 is supposed to be better, and it may be. Um, there are just some very serious lacking features on that camera that will cause me never to purchase it. But what do I think about this camera as far as is it worth you purchasing? I say abso freaking lutely Now, I know there are some of you out there that can only afford $40. 
and if $40 is all you can afford, I say go get the Dragon Touch. It is still a very viable camera. It doesn't have image stabilization, and this one does. So you have to say to yourself, is that image stabilization worth $50 more? And I say absolutely. So I don't want to make this video long. I just want to let you all know that this is just a first impressions, uh, a first look at this camera. Um, and this is all I'm doing with this video is just giving you my first thoughts on it. They, my opinion may change, you know, in a month or two. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this camera out and probably Noah and I are going to put it through its paces, beat the hell out of it, so to speak, and treat it like an action camera. Um, I'm, I'm going to do what I can to take it down to the river and wait out before it gets too cold and dunk it under the water and maybe do some underwater footage of it, you know, stuff like that. So as it goes right now, I'm telling you all from what I think, this is a pretty damn nice camera. Um, could it be better? Absolutely. But for $99, you can't go wrong getting the Acaso V50. You can't. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like my content, hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified whenever I release any new videos. That's all I have. I want to thank you all for watching again. And we will see you all on the next one. Go ahead, Noah. We're good. Kill it. Noah's my cameraman.